Hello, and welcome to Story Fandom. We're here to give you a nice, solid distraction. By watching Distraction by Randy Rainbow. What the fuck is he doing? I don't know. I'm trying to be unique and creative. Shut up. This was requested to us by uh, Ray. I don't know why I took down it. I actually know your name. <laughs> but I still checked anyway. Because I'm a genius. A very stable genius. Which we also a recorded. genius. Mm. Oh, God. Anyway. A genius. Before we get started, <laughs> I have to talk to you guys about something very important. It's subscribers. We need more <laughs> freaking subscribers. Subscribers. Subscriber so, dream. subscribe. And subscriber if you do, dream. instead of skipping over this part, if you do, we'll reward you. Subscribe and dream. Poop Fry cookies. of charge. You heard me right. Maybe. Subscribe and dream. It's a poop cookies. Subscribe and dream. Poop cookies. Future. Sounds gross, right? Fry of charge. But you're a little curious, <laughs> like <laughs> poop cookies? Seriously? Like a chocolate chip? Like what's going on? Subscribe. You find out Subscriber all that information. Fry of charge. charge. Free of charge. Free of charge. When we hit 250 <laughs> subscribers. Subscribe, Chief. So. <laughs> go ahead and subscribe. Subscribe, Chief. You're getting <laughs> both Poop Cookies and the sequel to Poop Cookies. Poop Cookies 2. Free of charge. Dropping Trap. Free of charge. So. Go ahead and subscribe. Free of charge. Now we get to watch Distraction. <laughs> Which is apparently based off that one song, Tradition, from Fiddles of the Roof, which I have heard of, but I have never, ever... I mean, I've heard of Fiddles of the Roof, but I've never watched it. I don't really know the song. We listened to it a little while ago, because Brandy was like, you don't know the song? I was like, no. She's like, oh, well, here. And she told our, uh, not Siri to play it. <laughs> I'd say her name, but then she'd chime in. Yeah, we can't even talk about wrestling half the time with her. Alexa... <laughs> he said our name. I know. But I don't trust him. His microphone. Anyway, let's go ahead and get watching. So, I'm going up the reaction window. None of you guys have out your headphones. None of us have out our headphones. You mean the ones we're putting in our ears? Shut up. And you didn't have yours in your ear when I you were know, saying that. Right? We are back, Mr. President. I want to thank you for respecting recommended CDC guidelines and wearing a mask. Oh, that's just your face. Um, <laughs> let's discuss the unfortunate matter at hand, the global crisis that is devastating countless American lives, wreaking economic havoc, the reason that we have all been forced to take shelter in our homes. Obamagate. Uh, what is that? It was the greatest <laughs> political crime in the history of our country. Some of your harshest critics say that these attacks on the former president and your recent Twitter tantrums are meant to distract from your failed coronavirus response. We're of the assumption that by the end of the year we're going to have a vaccine. Ooh, could you hold off on that just a little longer? It's going to take me a while to lose all the quarantine weight. Look, <laughs> the, le the less successful we are in opening, the better they are probably, maybe, for an election. But I'm letting people know, in many cases, they're doing it just for- A global pandemic. Sounds like some fictional Steven Soderbergh bullshit from 2011, right? Believe it or not, it's a real thing. People are suffering. Millions are out of work. The economy has evaporated, and worst of all, I haven't had a haircut in more than two months. So how does an unprepared reality TV host pretending to be the president deal with such an unprecedented crisis? I can tell you in one word. This was all Obama. Distraction. Distraction. This was all Biden. Distraction. 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 And we caught them. Distraction. La 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 la. La 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 la. How he tries to occupy your mind. To perplex you. Hillary Clinton to win. So many people fighting for their lives or scared to lose their jobs and stuck inside their houses. Thousands of people dying on your watch and who is it you're thinking of? Obama? Obama! Obama! 
That's the enemy of the people. Obama. <laughs> it is a disgrace. Destruction. We've done more testing than all of the countries in the world. Anyone who wants can get a test. He shouts, a proper test, a perfect test. Where the hell are all these perfect tests? He touts, there's only one thing on his freaking mind. Sleepy Joe Biden. Election. Election. I'm getting really good poll numbers. Destruction. Deception. Deception. Over 10 million tests. In action. They've never gotten over losing to me. We hope that you might lead us with some dignity and tact. <laughs> we thought <laughs> you'd somehow grow from this, but girl, you're petty. Confusion. Digression. Make America great again, right? Recession. Election, inaction, inaction, inaction. Nancy Pelosi's a disaster. Destruction. Obamagate. Hydroxychloroquine. Maybe that's a question you should ask China. He tries his best to backfall <laughs> as he stupefies and stalls. How long till he just starts posting pictures of his balls? Boom. Disgusting. Everybody disagreed when I did that. Disgusting. Look, there were a number of questions raised by the actions of the Obama administration. Destruction. This was all Obama. So many people. Destruction. Destruction. It is a disgrace what's happened. Destruction! Obamagate. That's a disgrace that's happened. Booking a family vacation. Jesus. Yeah, no kidding. Before we get anything else about that, the head shake thing would weird me out a little bit. It. Like <laughs> I love it so much. I'm going to do that from now on. I just want you to be aware. Actually, I we're going to do that. I had to crack my neck then. So yeah. What else can we say about this? Trump sucks. His coronavirus uh, response sucked. And um, people died. A lot of people. I... So I am considering posting on my Facebook that I want someone to try and defend anything having to do with his taxes or having to do with coronavirus because I know a couple of people on there still are Trump supporters I really just I don't understand I don't understand how stupid people can be I don't, yeah, I don't I know why I you keep any other people on your Facebook I only know one Trump supporter and he's my brother and I've informed I him that he can go so fuck many himself times. with his redneck so hillbilly many. politics so many so many times I've deleted them and I swear they do not get the hint because they request me again. Lock them. Uh, like I said, look, my brother. Look, you know how my family is. Your family, your mom, like, you try not to fight with your brother. You avoid him and you block him for that exact reason. That's why you don't say anything on Facebook to him. That's why it took you that long to say it. Me, I don't because I just don't feel like fighting with the people who then turn around and defend the people even though they completely disagree with them. I hate being the bad guy. I'm so sick and tired of it. True story. I know. True story. I just, I can't. I can't do it. I mean, like, really distant relatives I've already said stuff to, and we burned those bridges, all of us together. We took them down. What do you mean, like, cousin? Yeah. But with, when it comes to that, it's just... I still say block them. Like, the worst part is it's not even my grandfather who would be upset, it's my dad. And then it would turn into, like, somehow being my fault. And it's like, no, they're the Trump supporters. And they're the ones who, like, hate Mexicans. And I am, I don't know how to tell you guys this. Breaking news. Are you ready for it? What no. is it? I'm going to drop the mic here. Mm -hmm. I'm Mexican. <gasps> I know. Oh, no. Shocker. What am I supposed to do? 
What does so that mean? Like, he's Mexican? I don't know if you noticed his skin color, but... <laughs> <laughs> I just thought he's got a really good tan. I would suggest you tell Trump where he got your tan, so therefore he could look less like he just splatted his face into a bag of Cheetos to get it. Although, the one tonight, uh, with the thing, because this is the same night that it just came out about Trump's whole, I only spent several dollars in taxes and he had this whole thing. He didn't look like his regular orange Cheeto self. He looked like he had taken like a bag of, uh, I want to say almost Cool Ranch Doritos or something, or, or something that was, it was like darker brown than the regular orange, and that was what he spied okay. on his face. Do y'all think that he really did spend 70000 on hair for TV? Or do you all think he was lying? Because either he's lying just to, like, write it off. Or someone really did somehow See, convince him that that hairstyle is worth $70,000. Well, first of all, first of all, we got a whole thing to consider. That's just, it's that's just hair? Like, hairstyles alone or hair and makeup? No, it's hair. It's just hair. Well, I'm pretty <laughs> sure his hair is actually a wig. That's attached to his head, and it's made from rare cheetah that they kill and slaughter and string his fur into that weird, wispy gold hair. Because only the best for Trump. I'm so confused where he's going with this. That's why it's so expensive. <laughs> it's actually hair implants from rare cheetah from the South uh, South America that he's gone ahead. But wouldn't, South wouldn't that be only charged once if it's an implant? I'm so confused. Oh no. It keeps dying because he's such a horrible person. Everything he touches just. <laughs> Sort of the hair. This all ran away from you. Yes, it, did. it really did. <laughs> I was trying to make a joke, goddammit. Do you want me to write you some in advance? Who am I, Stephen Colbert? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I just. No, he has more hair than that. It hair. really just bothers me. That. And he's our president? And then I like the argument of, well, all these famous people who have something to say about Trump, they should just stick to what they do. He was on reality TV and y'all asses elected him president. So you just talk what he does. What the fuck is wrong with you? I mean, come on. He is so bad. much. Not only did Scientific America endorse Biden, The Rock did. The Rock doesn't care about politics. He's out there just making wholesome family movies and action movies. And he endorsed Biden. Yeah, as soon as he did, all of these bots popped up of fake, like, um, people basically saying that uh, their kids were in their basement burning all of their Trump DVDs. And everyone was like... Like, it was the same exact tweet and same exact wording on, like, hundreds of friggin' tweet accounts that were, like, just made today. Right after they were he burning endorsed his Trump? They were burning The Rock's DVDs. Like oh. the Fast and you said Furious I think you said the Trump DVD. I was like, what? That what? is what you said the first oh, time. Okay. Like, no, why are they They just, were like why? burning why? the DVDs from The Rock. And I'm like, okay. First of all, bots. The kids today, they don't got DVDs of The Rock. <laughs> they don't watch The Rock. They're going to stream that shit. <laughs> I get, like, I saw this, like, one person who was, like, on Facebook complaining about how The Rock should be voting for Trump because uh, all The Rock should be caring about is his money and protecting his money and Joe Biden isn't going to do that for him and all the other uh, rich billionaires or whatever. No, because Dwayne Johnson is actually a really decent person. What kills me is that like even if you you want to make a statement by saying they're burning the DVDs. You already got your money, you bitch asses. Nobody fucking cares if you burn your own property. You're a moron. <laughs> You're almost as dumb as Trump. Like almost. For, for instance, we don't agree with J- J.K. Rowling's uh, <laughs> opinions on transgender and all that whole thing she dug a grave for herself with. But we already owned the movies before but, that yeah. shit happened. So. And we even watched the movies. We already paid for them. So, whatever. I'm just saying. Why burn them? I'm still not reading books, though. Principles. Anyway. And the movies were based off her books. They weren't made by her. Yeah. But she took good royalties for them. 
Okay. But the books were actually written by her, and that's why we don't read the books. That's not why I don't read the books. You guys don't read the books because you guys don't even want to even try. I told you I tried. He did try. He what said time? it was boring. The first one. Oh, yeah, the first one is pretty boring. They're all pretty boring. But the point... <laughs> if you like the movies, so the books the go in more detail. probably never read The Lord of the Rings. I tried. God, I tried so hard with Lord of the Rings. And I mean, I read The Hobbit. I like The Hobbit. I got to Lord of the Rings and I was reading him. And they left the Shire and they were in the forest and they encountered the forest elves and they were talking about all the trees and the forest elves were talking about the songs and I was like, I was like that! I was like... That was me with The Hobbit. I got to The Hobbit. The Hobbit, Hobbit moves much quicker than Lord of the Rings. <laughs> Lord of the Rings just takes so long. I can't... Descriptive-based writing is supposed to be asleep. That's why... We love Game of Thrones up and until season 8. And it's not sci-fi eight. fantasy that we don't like. It's certain writing. Because I like the dragon lines. I know. But like, <laughs> a great example is we love Game of Thrones until season 8. And then I tried to read the books and I couldn't do it. I'm sorry. It's just too much description. I need more character dialogue. More interesting progression anyway we digressed quite a bit there yeah I remember that I started reading one of my books and I forgot what it was called and I don't even think I have it anymore actually I think I got rid of it because it was so bad but I read like the first page and I don't know if you remember this but I let you read the first like uh, it, it was like the whole first page was like a whole description about this about when the girl cut her thumb on the lunch oh, tray. That was that one witch one. Yeah. That witch series. She cut her thumb on the corner of her lunch tray and it was a whole goddamn page now, of describing you, it. I have a terrible memory and that was such a traumatic reading experience that I remember because it was fucking terrible. Yeah. Is there anyone out there who happens to be an aspiring author? I know I am. I'm working on my book. I mean, some people like descriptive writing. So yeah. Go ahead. But you should understand. Do you. But it's, it's not for You us. have to understand that <laughs> description writing and even having a world-based writing like Tolkien and stuff like that, who just puts a lot of detail into the world, that's fine. But you got to watch your exposition dumps because honestly, they'll kill the pacing. Like that? That <laughs> sounds stupid. Anyway, I don't know what that had to do with it, but... Never Actually, mind. I think it was more than just a page. It was, like, it was a while. Because then they also described the Band-Aid and the decorative, like, patterns on the Band-Aid. And... <laughs> like, I'm they I really even, went like, I, I'm, over I'm, the top. I'm just, I'm already sick of this book and I've never even read it. <laughs> anyway, if you like our content, like, comment, and subscribe... You want to do subscribers? You get to find out about poop cookies. You get to find out about poop cookies. Subscriber. Subscriber Dream. We have a Twitter. Subscriber Dream. A we Twitter. have a Facebook. Fry of charge. And we'll see you guys next time.